Yo guys, it's your boy Make Sense 365 Welcome back to another video And today I'm going to be talking about If I can get it The 2015 release From Cartier Pasha Noir Sport Guys This one was actually recommended to me And um Very happy that I did pick it up guys So we're going to talk about it I'm going to give you my review on it So stay tuned Welcome back. Listen, if you're new around these parts on this channel, we talk fragrance, man. It makes sense 365. If you are returning, I thank you for checking out uh, the channel as well. Hustling, grinding all year 2022. And I'm um, happy to say I'm over a thousand subs now. So now I'm just working on getting my viewership up so we can hopefully, you know, get monetized. That's the goal. You know what I mean? So I've been diving into Cartier fragrances. Normally Cartier is known for their watch wear. Uh, I honestly didn't even know they had a Cartier fragrance line. So I just was on Macy's one day and I saw Cartier. Um, this was my first Cartier pickup, Declaration. Did a first impression on this. I wait until it get a little bit much more warmer outside so I can give y'all a full review with that one. Um, I have Cartier. The perfume, love this one right here. Nice spice, fresh, fresh mixture with this one, guys. Also, one of my favorites I'm rocking right now for this fall and this little for the weather fully, fully breaks is Cartier L Evolve. Love this one right here. Nice honey note going on with this one, guys. Um, can't do this video without talking about the Pasha 2020 for men. Very nice amber, very nice put together fragrance right here, guys. Sexual, sexy, inviting, nice smell right here. Woo! Love the 2020. And to me, my favorite kind of barbershop scent right now is the Cartier Concentrate. This one, sorry if I missed, didn't say that right, but very nice barbershop scent right here guys so that's my little Cartier collection but we're here to talk about Cartier Noir Sport like I said this one was recommended to me by my man Kev Peace Kali thank you for putting me on to this one this one guys this one smells great to me five out of five when it comes down to the scent uh, keep in mind, when I think about a sport fragrance, uh, I think very, very uh, citrus, very energizing. Uh, I think blue kind of fragrances. Um, I think uh, sport, you know, uh, mass appealing to the nose kind of scent kind of profile when it comes down to the fragrances. And that's what I'm getting from the Cartier, guys. Uh, 2015 release smells great um first and foremost i will say that now also just right off the bat not even without me even smelling this first when i saw sport um immediately what came to my mind was performance now now when it comes down to your citrus fragrances they typically don't are not a beastly kind of performing kind of fragrances the notes in there are very volatile they're here and they're gone rather kind of quickly on some fragrances not all so um and that's what i'm getting from this one as well guys although it smells beautiful uh it is mass appealing some people would say the scent is kind of boring i wouldn't say it's boring i just would say that when you spray this one you're going to be like okay it smells kind of generic and um that's all right i don't i wouldn't say it's generic but I will say that the kind of scent DNA it is, is going to be mass appealing to the nose, but it's very, very nice, guys. So let's talk about some notes. In the top, you got some citruses, watery notes, base, you got seed notes, not in the base, in the mid, you got seed notes in the base, you got cedar, sandalwood, and amber. This one stays, stays fresh all the way through. You definitely get that citrus, citruses kind of opening but like i said guys for me when it came down to this one the price point 
if you get this at retail, the price point is going to be over a hundred dollars. And to me, it's not worth that price point. The price point and the performance is not matching when it comes down to the Noir Sport. Now, here's what I do. I picked this up. Now, this is going to be for your spring and summer. I picked it up. I'm reviewing it now. Like I said, it was definitely requested. What I did was I sprayed it on in a climate control area. I was indoors and um, it performed okay. It performed okay, but this is the kind of fragrance you're going to need to, in my opinion, you're going to need to re reapply this if you're wearing this to work. Like doing an eight hour shift, this one is not going to hold you down for eight hours. Um, and to me, when it comes down to the Pasha line, this one would probably be the last one I pick up in the Pasha Cartier line to me, just, just off the performance. Um, I got about, in a climate control area, I got about like a maybe an hour worth of projection and that's okay it doesn't have to be beastly this is, will be like an occasional kind of fragrance that i would throw on now, i would say this is definitely great for the office it's definitely inviting you're going to smell great it's just that that projection and the performance in this one is going to be probably gone at the hour and it's going to sit closer to uh the skin uh like I said, seasons, guys, you're gonna go spring, summer only. I can see this definitely being worn in definitely high heat. So, like I was saying, I reviewed it now. We're still kind of in the fall, weather didn't break yet, but I wore it in a climate control area where uh, I'm not outside in the elements, and I got about a, like an hour of, you know, it floating around me. It's not beastly to me, it didn't go beyond an arm length worth of projection, but. I can see in a high heat, 80 to maybe 85 degrees outside, you spray this on. And listen, over OD, go OD on this with the with the with the sprays, man. This is beautifully put together sport kind of fragrance. You're not gonna offend nobody if you overspray with this one. And to me, I think you're going to have to overspray this one if we're gonna make it through eight hours at work. Um and that if you're going to wear it to work but if you're going out store runs supermarket to the gym maybe lunch something like that um i think this one will be okay you know what i'm saying but for that price point you might be looking for something more better performing i do think you can find something better performing if you're going to pay retail for this cartier noir sport I think for that price point um, over a hundred dollars, you can probably lean towards a Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Um, there's a whole lot of other sporty fragrances out there. Um, even I think even getting your hands on like a Polo Blue, excuse me, Polo Blue, the perfume, Deep Blue. I think uh, something like that. Um, just with this one, I, I can't lie. I was I'm kind of disappointed a little bit that I didn't get better performance from it. But at the same time, it's a citrus fragrance. I'm not looking for something to be beastly as a citrus. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna go fast, guys. That's why typically citrus fragrances should be worn in a dead heat outside. Some of them you can get away in the spring. The the much more ones that perform better. But to me, this one is better. Gonna be suited for. Uh, definitely summertime hot weather and to me when I sprayed it on it gave I got inner listen I got energized make me want to get up be active moving around and that's what a sport fragrance should do for you oh if I had to rate this one guys five being the highest number I have to get this a three out of a five it smells great could it be better performing yes but for the price point that they are asking for yes but at the same time guys Keep an open mind. It is a freshie. Typically, freshies are here for about an hour and then start to sit closer to the body. But definitely a great smelling scent. As far as occasions, I could definitely see this being worn casual and formal. It definitely has a sharpness to it. Definitely, definitely beautiful kind of scent. Definitely masculine scent. I could definitely see this being wore with a tie, uh, with a suit in the summertime, guys. Um, date night? Nah, I think you could wear something else for uh, a date night. Um, a 
still say formal attire. You can do casual too. All depends on what your casual is. But uh, you can do casual too. Date night, maybe so, because date nights, you know, typically more intimate, more close counters. And I think you can get a you can get away with this one. Club lounge, nah, it just ain't going. It ain't that kind of performance with this one right here. But all in all, guys, smell great. Three out of a five for me. And um, yeah. I was checking some things out with this fragrance. People say it's boring, it's generic, it's magical, it's this, it's that. And all in all, some of that can be true, but at the same time, still smells nice, very blended, very nice, guys. And I think that uh, you guys will like it. I think it's a, it's a add. I think you can add this to your fragrance line. Uh, definitely situational kind of fragrance. And, um, but it works though as a fresh. Thank you guys for watching, man. If you're looking for more content, click on one of these videos to the left or right to me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, salute.